it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, UK independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have got another Simple Stamping Saturday project. So I am using the Tropical Chic stamp set. This was new in the current annual catalogue and I think it's just beautiful. It's got lovely designer series paper that goes with it, which is six by six. It's stunning. Um, for my other, my um, stepped up projects, I'm using some other things as well. But for this project, for my simple stamping project, all I am using is the stamp set and the set of uh, ink colours that are about to retire. So Fresh Fig, Powder Pink, Tranquil Tide, Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst will be going at the beginning of June. If they don't go before then, they are currently on back order because people love them. So if you love them and haven't got them yet, particularly if you haven't got the ink refill, because the ink refills will not only do your pads, they will also do your stamping right markers. So they are well worth getting. Obviously, if you want any card or ribbon that goes with these, then again, grab it now. So this is my simple stamping project and as ever I have decorated the envelope. It's a note card, an envelope, so it comes in a pack of 20 of each, so really easy um, and you just need to add some stamping and you're good to go. So we'll be making that one in a moment. This is for my casual crafter, so I've added in the 2017-2019 card pack and some of the fresh fig ribbon, it's the mini ruffle ribbon, and I've just spritzed with, actually it was the fresh fig, um, just taken this fresh fig um, marker and just spritzed the page just to give it a bit more detail, but the stamping is basically the same other than I've dropped the kind of barcode stamp and replaced it with the ribbon. So that's for my casual crafter and I've popped it up on to some dimensionals. And then for my Avid Crafter, I've added in the Tropical Finlet dies, which are part of a bundle with the Tropical Chic stamp set. So if you buy them together, you save 10% off the combined price. And I've also added in, um, or that you could just cut uh, your piece of cardstock, I've added in the rectangle stitched framelet because for the sentiment, I have used the smallest of the nested sets, so this one here, um, for the You Are The Greatest uh, sentiment. And then I have stamped the flowers and die cut them, and those are again stamped in powder pink and berry burst. And then the leaves I've uh, die cut in lemon lime twist and tranquil tide, and then lay laid one inside of the other. And then for a bit of um, uh, texture in the background. I've used the falling flower, uh, falling leaves. Mm, falling leaves. Sure, it is the falling leaves. Um, dynamic textured impressions embossing folder, which is in the annual catalogue. Let me just check because I'm not convinced it's falling leaves. Uh, embossing folders. Two, 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 two. We'll be getting a new one of these very soon. Um, Layered leaves. It's layered leaves. I knew it was something to do with leaves. They're layered, which makes much more sense because they are. Um, so that's the embossing in the background. And because I've used dimensionals for the punched elements, I've just stuck this straight onto the card base. This one, I've, for both of the casual and the avid, I've used the berry burst card for the mat. And then for the casual, I've used fresh fig and for the Avid I've used Tranquil Tide. You would need to put a liner inside. Uh, those of you who followed me for any length of time know that I don't put liners in my cards when I make them because I then personalise them when I send them. So those are the Casual and Avid. I will not be doing dimensions. I don't do dimensions for Simple Stamping Saturday because the star of the show is the Simple Stamping version and that is a note card and envelope. So note card and envelope. So they come pre-cut and pre-scored so we don't need dimensions. Right, okay, it's always useful to be able to see the one you're trying to make again. 
So let's pop that in front of me and grab my ink. So for the for the barcode, um, I know it's not really a barcode, but I think of it as a barcode. I wanted it to be kind of straight. Um, so all I've done is take my note card, lay it on my grid paper, decide where roughly I want my barcode, and probably a bit lower down than that. So, yeah, that's about right. So there's my barcode, and, or rather my ruler, uh, just joining the dots as it were, and then, oops, so that it's straight, I've got a piece of washi tape. I mean, it's not perfect straight, but it's reasonably straight. And I've taken some of the stick off that uh, just so that um, it doesn't doesn't rip the paper. Now, the barcode. Fresh fig. And ink that up. I've got a sequin on the back of it, which really isn't going to make the stamping any easier. Let's get rid of that. Don't want a sequin on the back of my stamp. Now I've got it on my fingers, of course. Right, let's ink that up again. Right, um, straight on the block would be useful. There we go. Okay, so I'm lining up with the score line at one end and then just down and up. And then for the next one, I need to just look underneath. So I'm looking under here to see where the stamp starts on this side so I can line it up against the other piece and it's as easy as that. Now obviously you could use your Stamparatus but we are talking simple stamping so I don't think a Stamparatus is something we should be doing. Um, so just going to clean that off because I will need the block again and Fresh Fig is not one of those colours you really want on your fingers. Right that is not quite all of the fresh figures I need, but it's all I need for the moment. Powder, powder pink, petal pink. Powder pink. We have powder pink and petal pink, and one is lovely and beautiful and soft and pink, like this one. And the other one is a sort of corally colour, which is still beautiful, but just different. So I'm going to pop one of the pink there. And I think that's all I need that for, yes. Then Berry Burst, and make sure that's well inked. Now I'm quite happy to overlap these because the Berry Burst will completely obliterate the powder pink. So to get some dimension in my stamping, I'm going to kind of deliberately stamp over, but that way it, it builds some layer up. I don't need that anymore. Right, so I'll pop that to one side. So I just need this, which is the smallest of the leaves because we've not got a huge amount of real estate. I've gone for the smallest. So lemon lime twist. We are quite a bit further up the card this time, but that's fine. So lemon lime twist. Tranquil tide. And I'm not going to clean in between because Tranquil Tide is a lot darker. And again, I'm quite happy to overlap. And then here. And I'm quite happy to go off the page a bit because it actually makes it look a bit more mint. Now, if you are a little OCD like me, if you've got your markers, you can extend your stems so that they're kind of going underneath the um, the barcode. And for this one, I just need it to go up to the Tranquil Tide. There we go. So simple as that. Right, now, this is the one that I managed to get wrong, mostly. So, fresh fig, you are the greatest. It is straight on the block. So if I pop the block down, 
it is, no, actually it's not. That might be part of the problem, of course. So it's quite useful to use your block. And you can see the, the lines through your block and then just line it up. And then so long as your block is straight, famous last words, your stamp will be straight. Fingers crossed, because I've had this go wrong before. Yay! Whew. Right, so that is the card. Now let's leave that to kind of dry a bit. Let's do the envelope. I've got the scatter stamp and the lemon lime twist. And all I'm going to do is in the corner of the envelope just add a little bit of something. And it's as simple as that. So let's fold the card, making sure it's straight. I highly, highly recommend one of your first purchases should be a bone folder, and I mean a proper bone folder, not a nasty plastic one. Um, these are actually um, made of, I want to say, cow shin, um, and it's a byproduct of the meat industry. I know that's going to upset anyone who's vegetarian or vegan, but it's a proper bone folder. You can get Teflon ones, they are more expensive but they would be a good alternative if you are um, concerned about the animal welfare issue. So we have got our casual crafter. No, we've got our simple, our simple stamping, our simple stamping, our casual crafter and our avid. So the same design, the same basic card, just stepped up a little each time. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really enjoying this, this simple stamping Saturday. To take something and just make it more complex. So this is quick, simple, easy. Great if you just need to churn them out. Um, so we've got our, our stamping up conventions, uh, it's called On Stage, coming up. When you see this, it will be a week today. Um, and for that, we make swaps. Trust me when I tell you, I am going to be doing simple swap, simple cards. I'm not going to do anything too elaborate because I need something quick and easy and, you know, something I can just get out because we make quite a few. So that's what I'm going to be making. And I may even be using this stamp set just a sneak peek. Anyway, simple, quick, casual, few more techniques, few more products, avid throw the kitchen sink at it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe, there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. If you would like to shop with me and your order is between £20 and under £150, if you use the host code, you will get to share in the host rewards. I divvy up, how, I find, work out how much we've got for the rewards, divide by the number of people who've ordered and buy something to that value and send it out about the middle of the following month. So I'm waiting, hopefully by the time you see this, I will have the items for March, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, so it may be next week, but they then go out. I don't keep any of those rewards myself. They are your rewards, you earned them, so you get them. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.